more than a, lot, a lot of emotions flying around at the moment. Can you sum up how you, how you feel? Um, overriding one's probably a relief. Um, I mean, yeah, it's been a long, a long season, and the override one's probably a relief. But I'm, I, I'm just so happy, um, and I'll probably go on a bit here, Dan, in a, on a little bit of a, um, a bit of a rant. But I'm just so happy for everyone, everyone that's involved. Um, I'm really happy for Jeff. <clears throat> Obviously, he's had his, um, his scare recently, <clears throat> and he and he's he's come through it, and the amount that he puts into the club, and how much he cares. Um, it's really good to give him, give him something back, give him this back. Um, I'm really happy for the gaffer. Um, so happy for the gaffer because <clears throat> um, it's been, a, you know, it's been a tough eighteen months for him. He lost his best mate, um, and and it's been hard for him. Um, but he wants the best for us. He always does, and he'll fight our corner um, every step of the way, and that's what he's done. And there's players we've we've repaired them. Um, I'm so happy for the players. I'm I'm really happy for the players because there's a few lads that have been here a while, and it's been um, it's been a tough three or four year. <clears throat> um, and there's some there's some scar tissue like with a few of them, um, and it's completely understandable because it's, it has been it's been hard. So for them lads, um, I'm really happy for them to try to finally get it done. Um, obviously, you know what I'm talking about. Don't need to go through them, but your Blairs, your Briggs, your Jordans, Miles, um, and and obviously quite a few others as well. Um, and I'm really happy for the fans. You know, they followed us home and away this year, <clears throat> travelled travelled miles and, and supported us. Really backed us. We've got the best fan base in the league, and potentially the league above as well. So I'm really happy for them. Um, and I'm happy for everyone behind the scenes, everyone that works so hard, yourself, everyone who works really hard behind the scenes um, to make this club work. Um, and um, and I know where the, where probably the most Im the players are the most important because we're the ones that have got to go out and get the results. But um, it's the people that are behind the scenes that are the heartbeat of the club. So I'm really happy for everyone. Um, and. Um, I shouldn't say I'm a little bit probably probably emotional, but I'm I'm just buzzing for everyone. In the first interview that he gave when he came through the door last summer was about how important it was to win promotion this season. That was in your mind from, from day one. Mm -hmm. I guess that added even more pressure going into the season, didn't it? That you had to get that job done. Massively, aye. Um, and that's why the probably overriding feeling was relief. And I just said it there because, like, um, you know, there's like the main target was promotion to win the league. That was the target the gaffer set for us. That was the target we as players set for ourselves. You know, there's plenty of experience and, and top professionals within the squad, um, and that was the target to get the job done and to win the league. And um, and there was pressure on that. And I think there's two or three people that I probably don't understand that. Um, if I'm honest, um, you know, I watched the Liverpool game yesterday. Mo Salah misses from 12 yards out, like. A player of his quality misses the target from 12 yards out. It's a pressure. It gets to everyone. It gets to everyone, whether you're in a title race, whether you're in a relegation battle, it doesn't matter. Pressure and, and the mental side of the game, it affects the players. Um, and it's how best you deal with that. And we're, we've got such a strong group, we're able to deal with um, setbacks. We never lost the back-to-back -back games. Um, we've dealt with criticism coming from certain people. Um, and which baffled me, if I'm honest, absolutely baffled us. Um, and, uh, and and it's people that probably, one, either don't, um, don't understand the position that we're in as players and, and what you've got to deal with day to day because we're full-time. This is our lives, this is our job, so this is what matters the most to us. So you have to deal with the mental ups and downs at each week. Where people that are part time don't have to deal with that because they have a main, stable, um, job. As simple as that. That is, is is their main priority, and football for them is a is a, is a side thing. So they play with a carefree attitude, and that can be dangerous. So we've got we've had to deal with a lot of things this year, but as staff, everyone, as players, um, we've dealt with every obstacle that's been thrown at us, and uh, we sit on eighty two points. With, with two games left and we've, and we've won the league so it's it's probably shut a few people up um, 
Um, and I'm just really happy for everyone that has wanted the best for us this season. I guess the most recent setback came about a week ago when we lost at Bamber Bridge. We had a lot of sort of seven days of stew on that, but the right. comeback with two wins over the Bank Holiday weekend. Yeah. I guess that shows all you need to say about the character. Exactly, Dan. You know yourself. You've been, you know, you've you've been with us. You've travelled with us. You know the characters that we've got in the group. Um, and like I said, there we've we've not lost back to back league games all year. Like I think we uh, we might have won every game after a defeat. I could be wrong, but I'm sure it is. Enough for me tells tells you how good, how good we are and how strong we are. Um, um, so for for us to bounce back after that after that Bamba game because we shouldn't have won the game. We probably should have won it at least at least probably took took a, took a draw from it. Um, and then again, we get a lot of um, uh, negativity coming coming our way. Um, but we deal with it and. Um, like we always do, and we we block out the outside noise, and uh, we and we bounce back like we always do. Um, and like you say, we've uh, we've got the job done over the last three days. Just fine. A lot of celebrating to come over the next week, two weeks, three weeks, maybe. Mm -hmm. I guess when you come back in the in the pre season for next season, I guess you're going to have the sort of shackles off now, and, and the chance for the club to go even even further. Aye, definitely. Uh, you know, I think like like I said, you know. You, you you've got to deal with like the mental side of the game is a big thing for me, um, and you're dealing with that pressure week in week out this year, which is no problem. That's fine. That's because that's because we we're the we're the we've got the best fans in the league, um, and we're the best team in the league. So we have to deal with that, and that's no problem. Um, <clears throat> now next year, um, we've got to go again. We have to drive again. We have to set this set them same expectations, and no one's got to be resting on the laurels and thinking, oh, we're here now, nah, because we want to go again. And we want to challenge again, um, and um, and we've got people, people in the club, players, staff, you know, everyone that wants to do the same. So we'll enjoy it. We'll enjoy the rest of the season. We'll have a nice, a, a little break, um, and then and then we'll we'll, we'll be going again, um, come come pre season. Top man, cheers, mate. And the last thing as well yeah. is the last thing I want to say is Bamba Bridge celebrated when we played them a couple of weeks ago, like they won the World Cup. I like thought they were going to win the league, and then the manager and the players are tweeting bottle jobs, South Shields. So enjoy the playoffs, lads.